day five here in Turkey. I haven't vlogged in the past four days of being here, except for when we got here. I've done the same thing and I thought it'd be a bit boring for you guys and I didn't want to be putting out boring stuff for you. Anyhow, today I thought it's about time that I show you what this resort is all about, give you a bit of a tour and just show you what a general day here includes. You can probably hear music out right now because it's the workout part in the morning so everyone is probably banging to some good house tunes which takes out to Ibiza. Anyhow, I'm gonna, yeah, show you what we do on a normal day but tomorrow we are going to um, Alanya Town hopefully going on a pirate ship. Everyone else is um, at the pool. I'm actually about an hour and a half late compared to them. I've been doing that every morning because for some reason I just need more sleep than everyone else. Everyone else can survive on seven hours sleep. I need ten. Sounds like someone's coming. Plus our room at the moment isn't exactly looking like the Ritz. So I'm gonna take the do not clean sign off and hopefully they will clean. But I seem to have lost my flip flops. I think they might be on the balcony. <laughs> This is our view from the balcony by the way, it's pretty nice, but this is just a tiny bit of the hotel. Stop, stop, are you freaking serious? Right now, right, gently. You now if I got everything, oh, GoPro. Phone I'm keeping here, I didn't brush my teeth. By the way, there is a lift back that way, but... I like to come down these stairs because it's nice and warm. I forgot you are not meant to wear a top when you are in reception and inside. I forgot you had to do that, so I had to run back up and get one. And this lighting is okay. Bit OG though. Open. I'm outside the entrance to the hotel. You have the cars that come this way. So let's just, let's make this tour begin. This is the reception area. Literally reception is so big, it stretches from here to a corridor all the way down there. the drone up here. It gives me vertigo just to look down there. But I'm not going to fly it. Because that would also be irresponsible. I took my glasses off because I felt like I was being irresponsible when I'm inside. Jesus Christ, it gives me vertigo. I want to touch one. But that's too far. I literally want to touch it. Although I can't be bothered. Oh Jesus! At least it's not going up. If I was going up, uh, 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 it would not be happening. I was all the way up there. Gives you vertical just looking up. Now we're coming outside. It's when the heat hits you. Can you hear that like ringing noise? There's a mosque next door and it goes off at 5.20 in the morning. It's very loud. Wearing sunglasses is now appropriate. And it's a bit too loud still. But before I begin to tell you on how many pools they have here, let me show you some other stuff. They have a barber's, a doctor. You also have a spa. Should we walk through? They also have a nightclub. Should we go in? I've been doing this tour for about half an hour and Ella's still asleep. If I'm being totally honest, it's quite hard to find nothing to do here. There's something in this hotel. As you can see behind me, we've also got water slides, which I'm going to demonstrate, dem demonstrate for you later. But I think I'm allowed to take my top off now because I am so hot. That's better. If you don't wear flip flops, you are 110% guaranteed to slip on these floors. These are the most slippiest floors I've ever been on in my life. Ella, nap. 
for a little bit today. She's a little bit tired, so I'm going to get on and do the stuff that I want to do and I want to film, and I can involve her a little bit later on. As well as having the main front entrance, there's also the second entrance for this side of the hotel, because the hotel's so big they need two entrances. The beach is right over there. This is the walkway to the beach. It's like a floral underpass thingy. I don't really know if I'm totally honest, but it's got some pretty flowers. Believe it or not, this beach is actually hotter than anywhere else in the resort. But this beach has also been up to 45 the other day. And some, that's just unbearable, man. I'm just glad I'm not in Dubai, because my friend's gone to Dubai and it's 61 degrees Celsius out there. It's insane. I also forgot to mention, this place is all inclusive. So I can eat anything I want, but then when you can eat everything you want, start to take it all a bit for granted and do shit like this. I've seen quite a few people asking me how and why I've taken another holiday straight after Ibiza because I didn't do it last year. Simple reason being, it's just because I can. <laughs> But in all seriousness, Ibiza was a really energetic pact doing something every single day holiday. And this is more of a chilled holiday where you just literally chill by the beach, by your sunbed, by the pool, and do nothing. They also have stuff to do here, like I've shown you, like they've got the spa, they've got the water park, they've got many pools here, which I'm yet to show you. They've got quite a lot of stuff to do here. But also, we are doing some things some days, like tomorrow we're going on a pirate trip, like I said. And also, it's too hot to do anything. But I guess that's part of the fun. This is pool one. This is a pool that most of us spend all our time in. We always sit in the same row of sunbeds right here. This is pool number two. This is pool number three. This is more the private pool. I don't think I can. 
Is it too cold? Literally, this is the coldest pool, but it's like the private pool. Like, any exclusive people can come. We're, we're exclusive. It's too hot. Holy shit. It's too cold. It's literally the coldest ever. Why is like the like the most private pool freezing? Holy shit! It's horrible. Two seconds. No, 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 please don't come in. I'll come in. I'll come in off my own This is the coldest pool in the history. In the history of pools. It's literally so cold. It's got like this nice. I, I can't breathe when I'm talking. It's so cold. Consider this the fourth pool, but with water slides. but it's not, it's actually quite cold. Not as cold as one's outside though, but still quite chilly. That's five pools I've shown you so far. There's one on the other side of the road because we have like a tunnel that goes under the road to another part of the resort. But don't never be bothered to show <laughs> I don't know if I can be bothered to show you that yet. So we're walking up onto like the private island. The only people who speak to the camera with the red wristbands as well can come up onto. That's why there's not many people up here. loud up here because this is where all the music is but we're up on the private little island thing very nice up here it's getting hot now it went a bit cold earlier for some reason but it was still humid you, you get my vibe I, I, you know i don't need to freaking explain it i think a drink is in order now as the sun's starting to come back out have a half beer half shandy Beer is absolutely key in this weather. And I shouldn't be drinking it to be fair because you obviously have to be 18 here to drink. But I got an adult's wristband. God knows how I got hold of that, but I did. We're 
we're currently in like a private beach hut, chalet. What do you chalet? call it? I don't know, what do you call it? It's just a hut. The beach hut thingy, surrounded by straw, wood, and cushions, and it's pretty sick. I quite like it in here. I can't believe we only just found this. Been here for ages. Oh well. Shit happens. Right. Point now. Oh shit. The door went open. This is the right one. Oh shit, why am I knocking? No one's there. You see the arrows? You see the thing. Oh my god. I literally don't want to do. Let me try again. Oh my god. Right, our key card's not working. I hate when things like this happen. It delays you by like five hours. Right, thank you. Let's see if this one works. Yes. And the maids have been. It's unlocked. Oh well. You know, I've just realised I haven't gave you a room tour yet. But I won't do it in today's one, I'll do it in tomorrow's one. Well, tonight is the phone party. It is currently, my, my watch says it's quarter to four. It's not, it's quarter to, quarter to five, which means it's quarter to seven here, because I haven't changed it over yet, because I'm stupid. Hour and a half later, we're actually ready for dinner. No, we're only actually uh, 15 minutes later. Still better than earlier though. Good. What it's in about Ibiza? Let's see. 